No circuit breaker at death trap nightlife spot in Sata Hip, Chon Berry as 15 people die in blaze. Top engineer says Thailand does not yet seem to have learned lessons from the Santika nightclub fire in Bangkok in 2009 which killed 66 people in New Year's Eve celebrations as an extensive survey is launched in Bangkok and other provinces probing entertainment venues with 83 already shuttered in the capital and more expected to follow as 19 people fight for their lives in hospital on ventilators after Friday morning's nightmare inferno. Calls are growing for police to act decisively against the owner of the ill-fated Mountain Bee nightclub venue in Satahip. Chon Berry after Friday morning's horrific inferno which has seen 15 people die so far and 37 more injured, some of them very seriously. The news comes as a senior police official has revealed that the illegal development on three rye of land did not have a single electrical circuit breaker. On Saturday, the Ministry of the Interior, A. Napong Pochinda, revealed that an inquiry by his ministry has already begun into how the nightlife venue could have been operating without a license in an area where such venues are prohibited. The Minister of the Interior Anapong Pochinda, right, has revealed after an internal probe that the Mountain Bee nightlife spot was not properly licensed to operate as a pub and entertainment venue. Indeed the Three Rye site was situated in an area in which entertainment venues are prohibited. On Saturday, Achara Ninoy, left, the 63-year-old mother of the 15th victim, Mr. Thanakrant Ninoy told reporters that she had, as yet, received no phone call either from the owner of the Mountain Bee venue or authorities to offer support at this traumatic moment following the death of her son on Saturday morning at Rayong Hospital from injuries suffered in the blaze. She said he was the breadwinner for her family and two grandchildren. The deputy chief of Provincial Police Region 2 covering Chan Berry where, on Friday morning, a lethal fire erupted in the Satahip district, has revealed that the establishment which reportedly only opened two months ago had no electricity circuit breaker and only had two fire extinguishers installed within the extensive premises. Police are urgently seeking to question the electrician working at the establishment with reports that he had just finished repairs and alterations to the electrical system as well as the owner concerning a multitude of issues including the fact that the business was operating illegally despite claims by management that an application for a license had been lodged on June 12 last after it opened with just a license to operate as an eatery. Local district chief transferred after initial probe showed the extensive development was unlicensed. The revelation from Police Major General Chaipoj Suwanrak comes as the families of the 15 people who died, so far, in the inferno with 37 others injured, 19 of them very seriously and requiring ventilation to breathe, have called for the owner of the premises, 27-year-old Pong Siri Panprasong, to be held responsible as it has also emerged from information released by senior officials that the Mountain Bee Complex did not possess a license for a pub or entertainment venue. Mountain Bee was operated on a large three rye site in the Fluataluang area of the district which was not zoned for entertainment purposes. The local district chief has been transferred from his position after these revelations as the public clamor for answers and accountability has just begun following the tragedy. On Saturday, Prime Minister Prachan Ocha, after hearing reports from the Minister of the Interior Anapung Pochinda about serious deficiencies at the venue, including the lack of a valid license, called for police to act swiftly and decisively to bring those responsible to book. The Prime Minister linked this horrendous incident to the New Year's Day fire in 2009 at the Sandika Night Club in Ekamai in central Bangkok which saw 66 people killed and up to 200 injured after a fire erupted as partygoers were ringing in the New Year. Traumatized mother of the 15th deceased person in the fire, 36-year-old Thanakrit Ninoy, still has not had a call from either the owner or authorities. Following the demise of that club and a robust police investigation, the owner, Mr. Wisiuk Sazawad and Mr. Boonchal Lausranak, a pyrotechnics specialist who worked on the ill-fated fireworks show that sparked the inferno, were jailed for three years. On Saturday, the mother of the 15th person to die from the tragedy, 63-year-old Mrs. Achara Ninoy told the press of the pain and trauma of losing her 36-year-old son, Mr. Thanakrit Ninoy, before his time. She revealed that neither the owner of the Mountain Bee establishment nor the authorities had yet contacted her. She held the owner of the Mountain Bee bar responsible for the death of her son. Ms. Athara said her son had died at Ryong Hospital at 7.45 a.m. on Saturday morning and left behind two grandchildren whose mother was also injured and hospitalized by the fire. She described him as the breadwinner for the family. We are mothers. We expect to die first and if a child goes before us, it is very difficult to accept the incident. There is no responsibility, I was never contacted or phoned by anyone to express regret or show any responsibility at all, so I want the owner of the pub to be aware of this matter. If opening a pub, you should be more responsible, she said. 
father of the 14th victim headed straight to Flua Luang Police Station after his son's death at Queen Sarakit Hospital on Friday seeking justice. 67-year-old Boon Song Mankalku, the father of the 14th victim, Sudhup Mankalku, who died in hospital after 13 charred bodies were recovered from the complex on Friday morning after the fire was put out, said on Saturday that he had traveled immediately to Flua Luang Police Station to see that the official investigation into the case was being progressed, in particular against the owner of the pub who he thinks should be examined, after his son died at Queen Sarakit Hospital in Bangkok on Friday. The inferno has led to a rapid reaction in Bangkok where Bangkok Governor Chad Chart Siddhapunt has already closed over 20% of pub and entertainment venues surveyed in an inspection of 400 venues where 83 were found to have defects. More closures are expected to follow. Closure of bars and venues throughout Bangkok in a rapid audit ordered in 50 districts by the governor. Inspectors throughout the city and the metropolitan area are trying to ensure that all venues are properly licensed have appropriate fire exits with a minimum of two being required and that staff are practicing regular fire drills so that they are ready to act in the case of an emergency. Governor Chad Chart, on Saturday, explained that City Hall had already begun checking such venues after a fire in the Siloam area on June 7 last when a conflagration broke out at a six-story building in the heart of the city. The city boss has appointed his advisor, Police Major General Adesor Ngamjit Suksri to oversee the survey of all pubs and entertainment venues in the capital's 50 districts. The governor said this was of heightened importance given the rising number of foreign tourists now arriving in the city although sources within the local authorities suggest there are more fears right now about suburban establishments that cater primarily for Thai users than for bars and establishments in the heart of the city. Fire is believed to have started in the roof area of the venue on Friday morning and spread downwards. The inferno on Friday morning which broke out at the Mountain B venue is believed to have started with a fire in the roof area which spread quickly down to the ceiling. There were 100 people in the venue at the time. The mother of 30-year-old Cha Chai Chayanka, Prem Jai Sayung who was on stage when the fire took hold, told reporters on Saturday that a friend of her son had told her his fate was sealed when, in an instant, he was engulfed in flames while performing after an explosion erupted behind him from above. The bar had only one viable exit in the front of the building as two others were ordered locked by management and was fitted out with what looked like luxurious decor including foam panels on the walls for soundproofing purposes as well as faux leather and other accoutrements. Dangerous materials believed to have been used in the venue's decor to give the impression of luxury. On Saturday, an engineering expert, Professor Anek Sirapanichkorn who is president of civil engineering at the Engineering Institute of Thailand said that the kingdom has still not learned a lesson from the Santa Night Club venue fire where what appeared to be luxurious decor including artificial wood, carpets with seating or wall covering using foam can lead to black smoke or noxious substances in the event of a fire while also making it certain that fire spreads quickly without the right materials which should be used as a breaker. On Friday morning, as Sadahit police walked through the burned-out shell of Mountain B, the fire broke out again with officers forced to retreat from the scene. Amid the devastation were the remains of a neon sign with a female figure and the words Dance With Me. Police later recovered four charred bodies from behind the front door of the venue, three in the men's restroom, one in the DJ booth and five within the cashier's booth.